Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about a summary of Margaret Atwood's short story, Happy Ending. Um, Happy Endings is a short story that's going to incorporate six different alternative storylines together into one short story. I think it's important to first look at the summary and understanding of each of the short stories presented. Um, so let's start with A. The first story labeled A is about John and Mary who meet and fall in love and get married. They both have good jobs, they buy a nice house, they go on vacation, they have children, and when the time comes, they retire, enjoy their hobbies, and die. It is the viewpoint of society of what a happy ending is. It's what romance is put together. However, portrayed by Margaret Atwood, we have flat characters. There, there's no character development, there's no conflict, and it actually makes it a bit boring. Next, we get storyline B. Mary is in love with John, but he doesn't love her back. He uses her for sex, and she hopes that he will come to love her or need her at some point. However, Mary's friends tell her that John is cheating on her with a woman named Madge. She then takes an overdose, hoping John will discover her and feel so guilty that he'll marry her. However, this does not happen, and she dies, and John marries Madge. Next, we have story C, where John is portrayed as an older man who is having an affair with Mary, who's a younger woman. Mary really likes James, who is the same age as her, but he is on his motorcycle, traveling around, and doesn't want to be tied down. John, meanwhile, is married to Madge. When Mary ends up having sex with James, John discovers them both, buys a handgun, and shoots them dead before killing himself. Madge becomes a window, widow and then marries Fred. In story D, we have Fred and Madge together. They're very happy until a tidal wave approaches their home and they narrowly escape. However, they remain together. And then they kind of turn into the characters of A. In E, Fred has a bad heart and eventually dies. Afterwards, Madge devotes herself to charity work. However, what's interesting in this one is our narrator tells us that it doesn't really matter if it was Fred or Madge who was sick. Madge could have been unwell and Fred could have taken up bird watching as a hobby. It's irrelevant. Wow. Next we have F. And in this one, the narrator suggests that the story can be made less middle class. It doesn't have to be this middle class. It could be upper class. It could be lower class. It could be past. It could be present. It doesn't matter who the people are. What matters is no matter what, all these stories ultimately come to resemble plot A. Which is very interesting. Because how does plot A end? John and Mary ultimately die. So one of the main points of this short story is that after all, death is the ending that comes to us. And therefore to all the characters in all these different versions of the short story. There's really only one true authentic ending. So by um, having treated these endings the narrator remarks that the beginnings might be more fun, but mostly people are interested in the middle bits. Plot is just one thing happening after another. So we're questioning the how something happens and the why. This, this collection of short stories is a story about stories rather than a work at creating a, a, a realist picture, picture of the characters. Um, Atwood's story is really about looking at six different scenarios that involve a, a relationship between a man and a woman. But as the story develops, the author breaks in on her characters more and more, breaking that fourth wall to remind us that Things being described do not exist outside of the author's own head. That's why um, 
she says in one version, it doesn't matter what character it is. She just wants to put the plot lines under a microscope and to scrutinize them. She's really into the how and the why. She wants to examine and question both the nature of romantic plots of fiction and readers' attitudes towards them. There's a bit of a feminist angle to the story as well. We can see the difference between a, a male and a woman in, in the stories. Um, and in the last analysis, it, it's it's really postmodern story about stories. It freely and self-consciously announces itself as metafiction, as being more interested in how stories work than in telling a story itself. But within the narratives Atwood presents to us, she also addresses inequalities between men and women and really exposes how relationships are rarely a level playing field for the two sexes.